In the last tutorial, I made this delicious carrot cake, which is low carb and no sugar. This tutorial is about buttercream, and this one is low sugar and is keto friendly. If you like this type of tutorial, feel free to subscribe to my channel. All links will be posted in the comment box below. This is a very easy recipe, and I'm gonna give you a small batch of the recipe, but you can make more for bigger cakes. You will need one stick of butter. You want it soft at room temperature. To that, you will add one bar of cream cheese at room temperature. With your mixer, you wanna mix this for a few minutes and cream these ingredients really, really well. Make sure to scrape everything in your bowl so you can mix this really well. Once this is mixed really well, you want to add the sugar. I am using Swerve with this recipe, and I added half a cup, but you can actually add less if you like less sugar. So if you want to start with a quarter cup and then add more sugar as you need it, you can do that. Don't go more than half a cup because then it starts getting too sweet. Once again, scrape your bowl and make sure that all the sugar is mixed well. You can add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. If you want, you can also use a clear extract or if you want, you can use a paste. It depends on what you prefer. This cake is not supposed to be a pretty one for a wedding. This is gonna be a homemade cake and it's all about taste. This buttercream has a great texture. You can see it can be smooth. If it has a little bit of air bubbles, you can pop them with the spatula by pressing down on the bubbles and getting rid of them. This is a technique that I use when I overmix my buttercream and it has too many bubbles. I just press down with my spatula back and forward and you can see how it smooths everything down. Now you're ready to finish your cake. I am using this as a filling and as an outer coating. The recipe works just as easy as my other buttercreams. Because it's butter based, if you have warm hands, it might get softer, so you can put it in the fridge if you need to. But you can see it just spreads really nicely. I am doing a naked style kind of cake. Mostly because I don't want to add a lot of buttercream, I just want enough to seal the cake so it doesn't dry out and give it a nice flavor. Once the crumb coat is sealed, I give it a second coat and I just leave it light. I want it to be a naked cake. If you want to add more buttercream, feel free to add it. You can always place it in the fridge Pull it down so the buttercream will harden and then give it a nice second coat. With the scraper, just scrape all the excess out, smooth it out, and you can pipe a border on top. You can add a chocolate ganache to it. It really depends on what you want. And yes, there is diet chocolate that you can use for this type of cake and for ganache. Like I said earlier, this is not a cake that I'm doing for a special occasion. This is a homemade cake for me and my family and my friends. So I'm not trying to be perfect in here, but I wanted to show you that this buttercream can be piped. You can add a top border, you can add a bottom border, or you can have even thicker coating of buttercream if you don't wanna see your cake naked. This is a really delicious recipe, I love it and so did my friends and family. It goes great with the carrot cake recipe that I just posted, so just go back and check it out. I will post the link in the comment box below so you guys can go and check it out. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Visit me in Facebook, Instagram, share your work with me, and until next time, ta-ta!